everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Millie and welcome to my kitchen. So today I am going to be showing you 10 plant-based vegan food swaps that I believe anybody can swap into their diet without ever noticing the difference. So a little bit of a background. In September 2018 I found out that I was lactose intolerant. I found out because not only was I having the stomach problems, I'll leave that there, but my skin was falling off and my hair was falling out. So that might sound a little bit dramatic, but it was quite bad. My skin was all red and blistery all over my body. It was just red and sore all the time and my hair was falling out in massive clumps and it wasn't growing back. I only noticed because when I was tying my hair up, instead of tying the bobble like three times, I was having to tie it like five or six times because there was just no hair to go in my bobble, which obviously was a massive thing for me to see that my hair was receding and all at the back at the nape of my neck. It was so thin that when I put my hair up, you could see all of my scalp at the bottom. So I cut out dairy and within a week my skin got better and now, nearly two years on, my hair has started growing back. It is growing back grey but that is a different thing altogether. Since cutting out dairy I have slowly sort of transitioned into a pretty much completely vegan lifestyle. So. I have always said that I would never say no to anything. If I woke up tomorrow morning and I really wanted a bacon sandwich, I would go across to the shop and I would buy myself bacon and I would cook myself a bacon sandwich. I'm never going to restrict myself like that if that's something that I want. The point of this video is that I don't want any of them. I don't feel as though I'm missing out on anything that I love because all of these swaps are so good that I don't miss any of these products. It does take some getting used to and I appreciate that it is quite hard to just throw yourself in at the deep end and go vegan but if everybody swaps out a few things then that would make a huge environmental impact and that is what this video is for. Just to show you that you don't have to miss out on the flavour or the experience of the foods that you love, there are alternatives out there. Now I don't judge anybody on what they want to eat. If you want to go out and eat every kind of animal on a full English breakfast, you do you. It is just my decision to not eat any animal products and to inform everybody else that there are really yummy alternatives out there as well. So without further ado, let's get into the fridge. <laughs> So, starting in the fridge, you will see we have a 2.5 litre tub of mayonnaise. I think that's how big this is. 2.5 kilograms of mayonnaise. Now, yes, this is an excessive amount of mayonnaise. Nobody needs this much mayonnaise. And this mayonnaise is just as good, if not better, than normal mayonnaise. And it's completely plant-based, so it is better for the environment and it's better for you. So, moving across, we have our milk alternatives. So we have soy milk, we get the unsweetened, and we also get rice milk. There are so many different milk alternatives, you just have to you know, trial and error and see what you like best, what you use them for. So we use soy milk in our tea, we sometimes use it in coffee, but mostly just in tea. Uh, and the rice milk I use for everything else. So if we have cereal or porridge, I also have rice milk in my coffee over soy milk. The benefit of soy milk is that it has protein in it. So you get a source of protein from soy milk and you don't get that from rice milk. There are less calories in rice milk. You just need to weigh up the pros and cons of what you want. Um, but I use rice milk for everything. It's really great in coffee. It makes really nice porridge and on cereal as well because it doesn't actually taste of anything. It has no flavour. So we have it on like our cocoa shreddies 
which are vegan by the way, they're not included in this list, but cocoa shreddies and then it just makes the milk go all chocolatey and lovely like a normal milk. So the last thing on this bottom shelf that I wanted to talk about is Just Roll Puff Pastry. Just Roll also do a pre-made croissant thing that you have to like roll out yourself and cook. They're really really great um, because obviously normal croissants are butter but the puff pastry works really well for like pizza pinwheels or I don't know there's loads of different things that you can do with the ready rolled puff pastry and um, we tend to use this for more savoury things like pizzas but there's loads of things that you can do with that that would make a vegan meal so the next shelf up we have flora buttery this is vegan i didn't realize but i used to get this years and years ago when i first moved out i used to always get flora buttery and when i cut out dairy i stopped getting this because i thought that it had milk in it uh, but it's not it's completely plant-based 100 percent plant goodness so it's made from sunflower rapeseed and palm oil yes palm oil isn't the best most sustainable thing but out of that and dairy it is obviously a better option and this is really good for making cakes I have been told I don't make cakes but I've been told that this makes really delicious fluffy cakes so one of the things that I miss most about eating dairy is cheese and you're never going to get a cheese that tastes like the real thing without it being dairy. I haven't found one yet in my nearly two years of not eating dairy, but the Violife ranges are really good for an alternative. Just don't expect it to be exactly the same flavour and exactly the same as what you're used to. This doesn't melt the same. It does melt okay, but it's not the same. You wouldn't be able to make like a cheese sauce out of this, I don't think. But this in like cheese on toast or a cheese toasty or something like that, if you're wanting it melted, this is a really good alternative. We do prefer to get the blocks and grate them ourselves, but this is literally the only dairy-free cheese that we can get at our local shop. So we have to sort of make do with this, but I do wish that we could get the blocks. So that's all of the things that we keep in the fridge and all of the other things that I wanted to tell you about we keep in the freezer. So the first things I wanted to tell you about were the Linda McCartney Outrageously Succulent Six Vegetarian Sausages. So these are the like original vegetarian sausages and we have recently found the Lincolnshire sausages which are made from pea protein. They are suitable for vegans and they are a source of fibre. So a common misconception is that you don't get very much protein on a vegan or plant-based diet. That is absolutely not true. So two of the Lincolnshire sausages are 12.3 grams of protein. So that's a high source of protein if you were having that as like your lunch or as part of your like main meal in the evening. So the Lincolnshire sausages are made from rehydrated pea protein and the original ones are made from soya protein and there's even more protein in this. There's 15.5 grams of protein in the original vegetarian sausages. If you are looking for something that is more like a meat alternative then these ones are great but the, I think that these are the better ones. They're just really really delicious. They're really really like flavourful and yeah these ones are my favourites, the Lincolnshire sausages but we do keep both in. So next up is burgers. Again we've got the Linda McCartney's two vegetarian quarter pounder burgers. Phil assures me that these are like beef burgers. I never liked beef burgers even when I did eat meat so I don't really like these very much. I would eat them if they were all that we had um, but these are soya protein again and each burger is 18.2 grams of protein and if you like a McDonald's McChicken sandwich then you need to try these. These are from Iceland. They are the no chick fillets, two crispy coated fillets, plant based fillets with such a delicious savoury flavour that you certainly won't miss chicken and as somebody who 
lived on chicken, I can say that these are an amazing swap, even if you have no interest at all in cutting down the amount of meat that you eat. If you are looking for a really good chicken burger, these ones are amazing. What I tend to do with these is I'll have them in a wrap, so I cook them like normal and then I chop them up so that they're in long strips and I put them in a wrap with some salad and some tomato chutney and a load of other things. They just taste like crispy bits of breaded chicken. Really, really delicious. So I do recommend if you're having a summer barbecue and you're wanting something more environmentally friendly and plant-based, then these two are really good options. So when I first cut out dairy, I thought that I wouldn't be able to have garlic bread because I thought, oh, it's gonna be made of garlic butter and obviously I can't have butter, it's dairy. But a lot of garlic breads I've found are made with vegetable oil and vegetable fat rather than butter, which is obviously amazing. And these ones are my favorite. These are the Chicago Town The Takeaway Garlic Dough Balls. You get 12 in the tray. They take seven minutes to cook and they are just delicious, plant-based or not. These are really, really good. So this is a recent find. I've actually only had these once because I found them and then they were sold out every time I went to the shop. But these are the Morrison's Taste No Mozzarella Sticks. So these are just little mozzarella sticks. They are breaded on the outside but they are also gluten free. And you cook them and they go stringy and delicious like what you would expect a mozzarella stick to do but there's no dairy in them and these are really really good. These are suitable for home freezing so I got like five packs and I've got them in my freezer just in case they sell out again and I can't get any more for ages. But these are a really good alternative and obviously it's an added benefit that they're gluten free as well so if you are both gluten free and dairy free then these are definitely ones to look out for in Morrison's. And last but not least, you've heard me talk about this ice cream before if you've seen my Get To Know Me video. This is the Taste Plant-Based Chocolate Non-Dairy Ice Cream made from soya. This ice cream is so delicious. And if you want even more chocolate on top of your chocolate ice cream, the Sweet Freedom Choc Shot Liquid Chocolate. This is also plant-based. I'm sure you can make like hot chocolate with this. But I add this into my porridge to make chocolate porridge and I also add it on top of my ice cream to make it even more chocolatey because you just can't get enough chocolate but this ice cream is so delicious so it's only 80p for this huge tub it's less calories than normal ice cream if you have tried dairy free ice cream before and found that the taste was just a bit either just not there like it just doesn't taste of anything at all or it tastes like soya and it tastes like what it's made of and not what it's meant to be um then try this one because this is a really really great vegan alternative so they are the 10 vegan swaps that i've swapped into my lifestyle over the last couple of years and honestly i don't miss meat i don't miss cheese i don't ever wake up and think oh i really want something that's not vegan I I have just incorporated it into my life and now it's just what I eat so if there are any other vegan products that you would recommend that I haven't spoken about and you think I maybe haven't tried then please leave them in the comments down below I am always looking for more vegan foods to try and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up that really does help me out a lot and if you want to see more from me then please click the subscribe button in the bottom corner and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.